Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Welcome to another half hour of information to help you make the most of your time to make informed decisions and to keep up with goings on around Greater Augusta. As I take my seat over here, let me tell you that this is a very special show for me because for the first time, my mother is joining me on the couch. Now you've seen pictures of us over the years, but today you'll get to hear her voice and put a personality with those pictures. We'll chat about some of the lessons she wants to share from her 86 years on earth. I know, can you believe she's 86? I can't wait for you to meet her. First up on our special Mother's Day show is a woman from Ridge Spring, South Carolina, who wrote me last year after watching one of our makeover segments on The Jenny Show. I was so moved by Gina Clore's letter. She has had unbelievable physical challenges her whole life, yet she sees opportunities and possibilities, and she is extremely grateful for her mother. Let me read you this. My mom has always been my rock, and with her by my side, I know I can pull through anything. I have had to fight since the day I was born, and everything I have been through has made me stronger. I am very strong-willed, but in my life, in my life, there's really no other way. And it is such an honor now to welcome Gina Clore and her rock of a mother, Jeanette Ergel, to the show today. Thank y'all both for being here. Thank you, Thank you for being here. Through your life, you had your mother, you had your grandmother, mm -hmm. and you just have strong women. And from the time you were born, you've needed their strength. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't be who I am without them, without my mom. She's She's more than my mom, she's my best friend also. Um, Gina, I want you to talk a little bit about some of the physical challenges that you have had. You were born with um, a uh, double... Double cleft lip and palate, mm -hmm. and then I basically, I did not have this piece here that was, I'm not sure how big the whole was, she would know more about the palate size, but basically no roof in my mouth, and then just basically no top, then it just went straight up to my nose. So. And because of that, and because it didn't develop right, your bones uh, are very weak. And I wasn't you, really born with the with up the here. Bones. There is. I've had um, basically there was no bone to work with. Right. I basically, I. I mean, I'm not exactly like, up here in the top. In my top jaw, there really is the loss of bone, and that's the reason why a lot of them, like with the teeth and things As like that, as a teenager, I don't they had to pull your teeth. I was. Uh, 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. Bullying is something that has been a part of your life. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've had bullying since I can remember basically. Through, it was, it was mainly worse through elementary and middle school. In high school it kind of, it was still there but it wasn't quite as bad as it was. I guess it helped because I went to a small school. So mm -hmm. pretty much in this town everybody knows everybody. Yeah. So that kind of helped because everybody, it's kind of a good thing, but it's a bad thing too, because everybody already knows everything, but then there's nothing new, but then it's the comfort of everybody knowing everybody, so you don't, you kind of, you don't feel like you have to really do things to impress people. Yeah. They already love you. Right. It's just, and I have some of the best friends in the world, but I would not, I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. There was one, um, instance that you told me about where you were having to wear one of the metal halos oh, yeah. <laughs> and you took your little niece and nephew to a concert and oh, it was, it was the adults mm -hmm. who were who were so cruel yeah the, the adults the children when if they stare and ask questions they don't understand so and the way I've always looked at it is if they ask me I have all the time in the world I will explain it because they they're not going to understand if you don't explain it and a lot of the adults don't explain it either, because back in the 70s when I was born, this was, it wasn't that common. It, I mean, it's more common now. Mm -hmm. I wish it wasn't, but it is. But back then in the 70s, it wasn't common. So pretty much, it, this was a new thing that nobody understood, and certainly not her. Right. But, um, so children, they come up and ask me, I'm more than happy to explain anything in the world. But the parents are the ones, it's, mostly, it's not really the parents, it's just adults in general, they just, 
they're the ones that, that do the laughing, the picking, the talking, the whispers, and I hear it all. I've always heard it all. You just learn to, when you're different, and as I tell everybody that I'm different, I'm unique, and yeah. I love my uniqueness. Yeah. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And you just, you learn to, you learn to get a thick skin. Jeanette, I know that you have been such an instrumental part in her being raised with that that mindset I love <coughs> my uniqueness because you have pushed her and supported her ever since she was a baby and she didn't she couldn't suckle like a baby does no not at all took an hour and a half to feed her and I sat up with her many 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 nights not even sleeping just rocking her in the chair, in the rocking chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just my little fault to rotten <laughs> but I wondered in the beginning, you know, why God gave her to me. But then as she got older, I realized it was meant for me to have her and not somebody else. Because I was going to have her, I was going to raise her as a normal child as she could be like any other girl. And I did the right. best I could. Yes, she did. And I think I did a good job. And I've always told her to always have hope. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how bad, the, how bad it gets, you know, you feel so down and low. But you got to have that hope. If you don't have hope, you really have nothing. I had to be strong to make her strong, or she would not have survived all the surgeries that she's ever had. She's almost, I've almost lost her four times. Wow. She's almost died on me, but I told her, please don't give up. I'm yeah. still here. I'm not going anywhere. As long as God wants me here, I'm here. She told me over and over, you're not going to give up. I'm not giving up. You're not giving up. You can't up. give up on that situation. You can't survive if you give up. Right. Right. Nothing was ever simple, ever. Not with Even her. the smallest things were not Doctors, simple. whatever happened to her, the doctor would say, we have not seen this in 40 years. Yeah, it's been. And when it comes to her, nothing that's unusual. I've seen it all. <laughs> very unique, very. <laughs> but I had to be strong for her, to give her the strength to go on. No, she's yeah. This is, she is strong. She's very, this is, without her, I, I wouldn't, I have no idea where I'd be, but I know I wouldn't be the person I am today. No, without my mom. My mom has been, she's been my rock. She is my strength. And without her, I wouldn't be who I am. I would have been too hard. How do you feel when you hear your daughter say those things about I want to cry. Yeah. It makes me feel good that I've done the right thing. You tell her <laughs> she can't eat or can't do something, she will do it, one way or the other. Don't tell me I can't do it. That just makes me do it. <laughs> I'm I really hard at it. Well, you two have such a special bond, and, and you have such a love for each other that's so obvious. And one of the things that we're definitely going to do is give you all a fun little makeover. So I want you all at home to stay with us, because coming up on Jenny, Zaros is here to share some makeup tips with Gina and Jeanette for a really fun mother-daughter Mother's Day makeover. Welcome back, everyone. We're over here in uh, Zaz Beauty Boutique, pretty much. <laughs> Zavia Siska is here with us today. We love it when she is on the show. And Gina and Jeanette are in for a treat because this, this is kind of like, imagine you're walking through a department store and, and one of the pretty ladies working says, hey, let's give you a little makeover. <laughs> so that's what Zavia is doing today. These are just some fun tips she's going to share with us. And I don't want to do the talking, Za. I want you to just begin and talk to Gina and Jeanette about what's going on here today. Well, Gina, hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are doing you? Doing great. Well, welcome to Zavia Siska's Boutique. <laughs> I'm happy to have you today, and you look great. Your um, inspirational story has so inspired me, and I believe so many other women around the world, and that just fuels me to make you into a rock star today. So, what I'm going to do is focus on your eyes. You have gorgeous eyes, and I really want to bring them out. Um, so far, no eye irritation. So I'm going to give you a chance to see what you look like with lashes on. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. Yep. So we're going to focus on your, your strong features and your beauty comes from within. So it really doesn't matter. I feel like even if I put nothing on you, your confidence will just stream. So I'm using the CC cream, which is everything in one. So it's like a moisturizer, um, sun protector and foundation and so it's a very light coverage, not too heavy. A lot of glow is in, so we're gonna do some highlight on your cheeks. I'm just kind of lightly drawing it in a bit. 
there's more filling it in for Not you. Yet. We're almost there. So I'm just smoking a little darker brown. It's kind of on the lid. Because we don't need a whole sharp, dark black liner right now. Perfect. I don't want to adjust the color of her tone. So I just want to kind of pop it with a little gloss. Wow. Mm. Wow, exactly. Looks so different. Who is mm -hmm. that? I like the eyes too. You did just so pretty the way you Thank did. you. Feeling okay there, Mom? Yeah. All right, good, good, good. Ooh, long mm. Okay. Ooh. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he gonna notice you this time. <laughs> he better. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna stop this part right now so you all won't see anything else until our big reveal at the end of the show. But you can tell already that Gina is looking fabulous and Jeanette is having mm -hmm. a good old time over here with her makeover with Zavia Siska. So hang on to see their finished look. In the meantime, still ahead on Jenny, a huge Welcome back everyone. Well, here we are at the end of the show and I am so excited to <coughs> reveal Gina and Jeanette and their beautiful makeovers. And you know what I really love seeing? As spectacular as Gina's eyes are popping, I am seeing Jeanette smile a little bit. Mm -hmm. She told me she's not much into smiling, but, but this has been an opportunity for her to really smile. And we want to thank Zavia Siska. Come on in here, Zavia. I know you want to say something to the ladies. Gina and your mom, I'm so happy and so excited. I have a little gift on behalf of ZaviaSiska.com for you both. Thank it's filled you. with beauty goodies in there. Oh, um, anything from facial, lip moisturizer, lip gloss. So I hope you, ha you girls have a really good time thank with you. that. <laughs> your story has been so inspirational, especially with me being a mom myself and a grandma. So it's just very exciting. I understand the journey that us women go through and you know we have to stay strong for each other so I'm really really happy and you inspired me and as well as the world in general. and so. I'm so glad you said that because you are you're a working mom yes. and you're a grandmom yep. and you understand about strength if anybody does you understand about strength and the challenges that a woman overcomes and can overcome definitely to carry on in her journey definitely and yeah. you're such an entrepreneur yourself you're an inspiration to well, a whole lot you. of people thank for sure you. for yes. sure you know we know that beauty is on the inside mm -hmm. and your beauty shines through the makeup is the enhancement the makeup mm -hmm. gives us confidence as yeah. you know my feeling is always i do my makeup for me yes you know, definitely. that's my armor <laughs> to face my day my yes. makeup is totally for me yes and anything we do to make ourselves feel stronger and feel better i think is really really important definitely. and jeanette thank you for being the mother that you are and that strong strong rock that Gina has needed in her life. And thank you for your willingness to share your story. You. <laughs> You're a lovely, lovely person. Thank you. And you have such a bright spirit. Thank, thank you for asking us to be on the show. Yes, have a ball. Yeah. And I also want to thank my mother for being here too. Mama, you have been the inspiration in my life. I could never have gotten this far without you and your constant encouragement. To all the mothers out there, have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you for joining us today, and I'll see you again next Tuesday at 1230 right here for Jenny.